everybody, it's Kate, and I'm here today with Angela Campos. Um, she's a, a okay child passenger safety, safety technician. technician. Okay, yep. good. I got it right this time. Um, yeah, so her job is basically to help families um, figure out um, car seat safety because surprisingly there's a lot to know about um, rear facing, forward facing, how you buckle your kids in. And um, today specifically we're going to be um, talking a little bit about jackets because um, the weather's starting to get cooler and kids are wearing um, their puffy coats or their fleecy jackets. So um, yeah, so I'm going to let Angela kind of explain our setup. This is my baby. This is my toddler, Virginia. She's two. Um, so yeah. So we have Virginia in a fleece right now and it's um, pretty thin, but the big thing you want to think about when you're harnessing your kids in their seats and even in a booster seat and, you know, adults in a seatbelt is that big puffy jackets, um, like thick winter coats, um, create bulk under the seatbelt or the harness and so they compress in a crash and then leave slack in the harness and which then leaves it loose um, which then it doesn't serve its purpose so here we have her in a lightweight fleece and I've got her strapped in here um, and you can see whenever you tighten the harness you want to make sure that you can't pinch any slack at the shoulder um, that's how the best way to, to tell that it's tight enough so um, what you could do if you're going to test to kind of see whether or not your child's coat is too thick is to put them in the seat and, you know, pull up all the slack on the harness around the hips, pull it up, 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 and then tighten it until it passes the pinch test. Mm -hmm. And then without loosening anything, you would take them out of the harness. So unclip it and pull them out, take the jacket off and then put them in in like just their shirt um, and clip it back together and see if it still passes the pinch test. If it doesn't pass, then whatever they were wearing in terms of a jacket was too thick. So a lot of times a lightweight fleece like this works great. Um, we do the same thing in our car. Our kids wear a lightweight fleece, you know, jacket gloves, and then we keep either a blanket in the car or one of those ponchos that just goes um, you know, over their head and then lays on top of the harness so it doesn't go underneath as kind of an extra layer for in the car or running to and from the car, that sort of thing. Um, but we save our winter jackets just for when we're outside playing in the snow or, or whatever we might be doing, but they don't wear them in the car. So you want to grab her, yeah. her puffy jacket. We'll just show you what like a puffy jacket that's too thick. Um, yeah, and that's what we do too. We have blankets in the car to keep them warm. I think a lot of people are worried about that. Um, and obviously they can wear the jacket as they walk out to the car or honestly we just like wrap them up in a blanket and carry them out and then buckle them in. And when we get to our destination, if it's a place where they are going to be like walking outside for a little bit, we go ahead and put the jacket on at that point. So, um, and this is what, a, you know, our puffy coat that we are not, not wearing in the car. Yeah. Um, even on like cold winter days so yeah so that jacket would be yeah so if she's going to be outside you know you could put this on over top of the fleece she'd be nice and warm in this um, but something like this is generally not good in the car seat they tend to be too thick and like i said they would compress in a crash and then leave slack in the harness so lightweight fleeces hats gloves um, extra layers if you have a teeny tiny baby like mine that's the thing in the background over here <laughs> layered up today so it's not super chilly it's like high 50s um, she has on like a long sleeve onesie pants socks and then this lightweight jacket with a hood and then I have her all harnessed in and, and tight and then I just threw this extra blanket over top of her um, to kind of block the wind since we're outside um, but she doesn't have anything thick or puffy on especially on little babies it's really hard to put like a bodysuit or anything on them because they're already so tiny and then you're trying to get the straps tight enough and a lot of times it just creates too much bulk um, and leaves too much space in the harness. So layers are great for little babies um, and even toddlers too, but toddlers can easily just wear a nice warm fleece. And yeah, and the newborns, 
I feel like are so much easier because they are like they're in the bucket seat. Yep. You're not having to take them out of the car seat when you get to the destination necessarily. Yeah. yeah if you so. use a convertible for a newborn, yeah. then layers work great, and mm -hmm. then just throw a blanket over top of them or whatever and run inside. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Angela. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, guys.